afternoon and welcome to the shop that nothing ever breaks in, right Tim? Nothing ever breaks here, nothing at all ever breaks here, it only breaks in the field. So, anyhow, with that being said, Timothy was driving at Mach 1 speeds and he smacked into a well casing. Right? Oh, you took a picture of it? Well, I can show you all a picture of it. Look at this. He hit this thing so hard that it actually shattered the stone guard. Look at that. Shattered it. Blew the tower. Blew the tower to pieces. Look. Just, just raped that thing. Oh, it broke both sides. You see it? Oh, yeah. Right above the grass line. Dude. Well, did you put the flag up there? I put that flag there when I got there. Oh, okay. I was going to say, if you saw the flag. Wow. You should have been able to see that thing. I didn't. I was I was looking Tim, on this you side. You should have been able to see. Good morning. That. Yes, I know. I need to shave. Anyway, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> Timothy smacked into that well casing. And I didn't ride him too hard about it because it was low in the grass. But I did tell him, I was like, man, you should have been able to see that thing. And obviously you saw that. But uh, yesterday, after fixing the case windrow or all up, uh, putting a new cutter bar in, uh, I took it from, you, you'll see later in the video, I went out with the John Deere and promptly smacked into another one, down and back. That's all the feather I got in a different field. Bam! I saw it, like he said. Well, I only saw it out of the corner of my eye. Well, same thing. I saw the obstruction and I pulled back on the stick and I was up on my nose and I hit it. Bam! Busted two top caps. Uh, I actually cracked one of the turtles and just made a mess out of it. So, anyways, I just thought I'd throw this in here. I took a couple days off of YouTube just because I wanted to. I didn't really care to mess with YouTube the last couple of days. Anyway, uh, busy, busy, always busy. And, uh, yeah, as you can notice, the 4430 is out of here. And I got some tires and rims for a John Deere 112 tractor that's going out to Danny. Uh, Gasecki, Giusecki, I believe that's how you pronounce his name. I got to box them up and send them. Tires aren't very good, but I think he really wanted the rims instead. That's really what he wanted. Uh, yeah, so this is what we've had. Timothy had a collision with the... Uh, with a well casing and this header or this cutter bar totally trashed it didn't totally trash it but he trashed it enough that things ain't working quite right dot com like look at that input shaft he hit it right here and I believe he just totally sheared off the input shaft because eh, yep that'd be the one so I could have just split it here and uh, dealt with it that way but if you notice this thing has so many hours on it Watch, you turn, see the the wear in it? There's a lot of wear in there. So, it's getting ready to, to break. I will break it apart, change that box. There's something with this box here, I think, one of these boxes. Pull it apart, set it up on a shelf somewhere. Up there, maybe. And uh, wait for it to break. Now, this this cutter bar here... Yeah, I got spares. Uh, this cutter bar here, I purchased new in, I think, 12 or 13. 2012 or 2013. And I put it in the old header. And, uh, of course, when I was having so many problems with the old header, I just took it out. And that was the end of that. But this one is a much tighter head or cutter bar. So this one here will go into that, that uh, thing today. And we should be good to go. And we're going to go run. We're going to go run. We're going to run, run, run. Uh, I had to change out this box. Uh, you can see there's some oil here. But uh, I changed out this whole gearbox here. I split it. Put a new gearbox in. There are rights and lefts to this thing. Uh, what happened with that gearbox, here it is. Here's the box. Somehow, that's a cast iron piece there. Somehow that, that dipstick... That's a dipstick there. Got busted out. This cast iron piece just broke out. So this was full of water, and, and it, I don't know how long it's had water in it. So it wasn't worth my. Uh, it wasn't worth me wait. Uh, just running it, waiting for it to go bad. If I'd have just stuck a plug in there, 
and filled it with oil, cleaned it out, filled it with oil. You don't know what those bearings have had happen to them or even if the seals rusted out because these seals will rust out if you're not careful. They just rust holes through and any oil leaks out and you cook the damn things. So it was just better for me because it's already out to rip it apart and do that work. Uh, so I'm going to open up these doors here. I got to change the fan clutch on a 7410. And uh, we'll, I'll bring this. All right, so after some yelling and some screaming, not really. We didn't yell and scream too loud. Anyways, this uh, cutter bar is in. It's not too difficult to put in. Um, just You just need to know, know what you're doing, I guess. Uh, we use thread locker, the hard red Permatex thread locker on this, on these bolts that hold this in. Because if that nut backs out, that or the, the cutter bar falls off and causes lots of trouble. Timothy has gone through the cutter bar already and checked the oil, made sure that it was up to par. Right, Tim? Yep. And uh, it was, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. So he's got that good. And uh, really what we're going to do is Joe and him are going to put these towers together. 
and then we're going to test it out. Now he hit that thing with such force that he bent the lift arm over there. So we're going to have to hook it to a tractor, two tractors, and uh, pull it back because he bent. Crazy loud. Well, we gotta fix that yet. Now, which blade was hit where? Well, it's pretty simple. No. Back. Get out of the way. Thank you. Well, I can see it's hitting here. Which blade is this blade? I hear there's something scraping. And then, yeah, here's one here. This one here for sure. Yeah. Now, what did you want to do, Tim? Uh, Why? All right. Well, we know it works. Just got to fix these blades. You go ahead and change blades. I'll. You, you got. He's got to put that tower on. Right, right. 